Hey-o. Uh, the girls are out of the house right now, so I figured uh, I'd start breakfast, make a, another breakfast bowl. But it's not just breakfast bowls, I'll be, you know, making bacon, sausage, whatever, to eat individually as well. So uh, let's get started. Hi, Michaela. How are you? Um, apologize. Uh, my phone froze, so I don't know if you saw or heard anything for the short period of time that... Uh, I think it was live for 36 seconds before it died on me. I'm not sure what happened there. So hopefully you can hear me. But my day's going good so far. It's uh, only about 10.15. And uh, the girls are out right now. How are you doing? I see four people are on. Um, again, I apologize. Uh, something happened. My phone, the YouTube app, crashed. It did allow me to resume. So, that's good. It saved me about five minutes of retyping the descriptions. That's one thick piece of bacon. What do you got? Six pieces here? Can we fit in seven? We can if we uh, go this way. When in doubt, turn everything. This usually lets me fit in one more piece, so that's what I'm going to do. This might even let me get eight in there. I'm about to start the, uh, the air fryer, or the Breville, I should say. Get that up to temperature. All right. It's a tight fit, but it'll work. Ah, the garage sale. Is this a continuation? I think I recall you mentioning something about a garage sale. Was it yesterday or this morning? I don't, Maybe I didn't see it till this morning. I don't know. My mouth's not functioning yet. I don't have any food or beverage in me to caffeine. Doesn't leave me a lot of room to tuck the sausages in there, but I'll have to do. Kayla, forgive me. I am so bad with remembering locations. Would you remind me where you're from and if I'm pronouncing your name correctly or not? I'm going to put the Breville down to 350 because I got a lot of other uh, cooking prep to do here. Right here, I have the Belgium Bowl Waffle Maker. I am actually going to make some of these Belgium Bowls. I don't know if I've done this live on the air. I know I have a video out. Basically, I'm going to kind of just tuck it in there without burning my fingers. And close this bad boy up. And set the timer for four minutes. And we'll start cutting these potatoes. One of our usual viewers, David, he sees me using the knife and he cringes and I, I hear him on that. I'm not good with the knife, but this knife is nice and sharp now. So I'm not like fighting with the knife to cut through. I'm not a professional at any means in the kitchen. See like right there, there was that little loose uh, thing there. So I'm gonna start cutting loose there. Dig my nails in a little bit. <laughs> I just cut my nails so there's not much to dig. I'm gonna do the little cubes again. The cubes are so tasty. 
Um, and whatever was left last time, Donna just ate just the cubes of, um, of um, potatoes. They're just so tasty, you know. But um, we will start cutting these up. Anybody who was uh, in Nebraska. And Nebraska doesn't sound familiar to me. That's why I'm wondering if I've, if I've asked you. Usually I ask anyone who's new coming on. But you've, you've been to a few of these so far. Um, just a few here. I was planning to do the meatloaf live. I, not that I promised, but I said I was going to try to do it. But I realized I was short every, like, I don't know, half the ingredients on the list. So, um, I got a list going. And, um, uh, I posted it on my, uh, my channel. Not a video, but just a message saying that I wasn't going to do it. I don't know how many people here follow it. So, um, Michaela, if you... Yeah, the, cu the cutting mat's a little slippery here. I love these cutting mats because... I got like a set of four of them, you know, and you're supposed to use like one specifically for meat, one for fish, you know, for contamination reasons. But, uh, yeah, I, I cut myself decent enough with a knife once, and that was from stupidity. I was trying to separate a hamburger with a knife, and uh, it, they were frozen together, and I slipped with the knife. And people laugh. They go, that hole didn't look big, but it, uh, I didn't go get stitches, and it bled for several days. You know, I, I kept my hand so tight trying to keep it stuff from bleeding. I had a hand cramp for like a month or two, you know. And then once I cut the top of my thumb, I was trying to cut open a golf ball as a kid. That didn't work out too well for me. As you can imagine. Golf ball is round. It's not meant to be cut. <laughs> I guess still got the scar there, and every once in a while, if I hit my thumb just right, it hurts. This top one is sliding around, so I'm going to make it. Now, I've seen people, they cut like this. They kind of roll their fingers back, and they just use the knuckles as a guide for the knife. Maybe I should watch some YouTube videos on how to properly do this, or or pay more attention to uh, Kirby. Kirby was on yesterday. He's uh, Kirby's Fish and Grill. Great channel. If you are not a member or not subscribed to his YouTube channel, go check out Kirby. He's a good guy. He does lives um, Saturday mornings. It's called, uh, uh, I'm going to say this wrong, uh, Get Your Fat Pants On or something like that. All right, let's take a look at this bowl. Let's get it out of there. So this bowl is soft right now, but just like toast, when you toast it, it's going to get hard soon enough. So let me um, put that one in there. Oops, sorry, probably a loud noise on there. And get that going for four minutes. And this is a tiny breakfast bowl, but this is good for tacos too. That's, that's mainly what we use those for is the taco bowls. I'm gonna keep this out. on top and just make my life easier if I do that. I think last week I only did one potato and I don't remember if it was for a breakfast bowl or just because I think I made Donna breakfast it was her birthday. Um, oh, I forgot I gotta rinse these out quick. You know what? I'm not gonna bother. Not going to bother. Uh, I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of oil in there. I'm trying to be more conservative with the oil because it is olive oil, Evo, is more expensive, and a lot of it just drips off, so I want to put enough so that it's good and well coated, but not too much that I'm throwing half of it away. Now, if I was smart, hey, Dan, welcome. And... Layla, welcome. So if I was smart, I would put the salt and pepper 
and garlic powder on this first and then the oil because then I wouldn't be washing my hands twice. So let's get this uh, pink Himalayan salt on there. I may consider buying some pink Himalayan salt already crushed too so that way if I have a recipe that calls for like a teaspoon I could just uh, dip into that as well. Whoa. I think I got some more pink Himalayan salt I'll have to top off soon. What I did was I went to BJ's and uh, they sell grinders with salt in them, like throwaway grinders. So I broke them apart and used the salt and pink salt and pepper, uh, peppercorn pepper because it was cheaper to do that than to go out and buy it on Amazon or whatever at the time. Now I think it's changed a little bit. All right. Get some of that flavor on there. Yeah. All right. Then we'll throw these in the air fryer. All right. Wife loves these potatoes. This ball, they just, I'll just, I go by the stove, I grab them and uh, throw them in my mouth, a handful of them, you know. And that's the problem with the convenience of what I call my finger foods because they're there available and I eat more often, you know. All right, let's get this in the air fryer. I can't forget to spray it. And a few people have been asking this is what's that I see? Oh, they say, what's that I see in, under the pan? These are these uh, Rachel Ray trivets. There's four of them. I'm using the two mid-sized ones. Link's in the description if you want to check it out from Amazon. But I will warn you, it's cheaper to get it at Walmart if they have it in stock locally. It's like 7 versus $4 or $5, whatever. So I just put that in there. The new version of these pans, they have a little silicone bump here. So it's no longer a problem with the pan. Sorry, the basket damaging the pan. So let's get this, spray this down. the potatoes do stick. Get that in. That was the time of saying my other breakfast bowl is ready. And I use these for taco bowls as well. It's like a low-cal way. Donna likes the, uh, to make little taco salads. So this is soft right now, but it's going to harden right up as soon as it cools. And I can probably unplug that now. So let me do that before I forget. No need to waste electricity. And let's get those potatoes started. Uh, it's almost as if this remembered this from yesterday, what I left it at. I'm curious about that now. Uh, potatoes. We're going to leave it at... 17 we are going to set the timer for six minutes so we do not forget i'm going to just take a quick look at the bacon it's doing good i am now going to kick up the temperature of the bacon at 375 since i'm getting close to where i want to be and of course cheddar cheese i do not i looked i do not have any uh green pepper so for those of you I was hoping to see that. Uh, Donna had bought like a, a pre-cut uh, basket. You know, it comes like with the pre-cut fruit comes in. And um, unfortunately, I did not uh, pick any of that up. Okay. Let's get a chunk of that cheese out. I usually use a different knife. I'm curious how well this does with cheese. Three is probably enough, but, uh, you know, I'm going to chop it all up and I'm going to tell you why. Because if I don't use it all, I can just... Uh, Keep it to make uh, some dip or something later. 
so I will get this other two in there. Sometimes I wish I'd buy shredded, but we do cheese and crackers sometimes, like once a month or something, and this is better than having the shredded cheese. So let's get this cut up. When I cut the uh, Velveeta, when I make my uh, makeshift queso, you can either use the uh, Rotel uh, tomatoes, or you can use the uh, Horvel, Hormel chili, not Horvel. And um, I'm not a fan of beans, so I get the Hormel chili without beans, and I use both. Now, you do end up needing bigger than a three-quart bowl at that point, but I'll tell you, it's delicious. You know, the places I used to like to go get it was Chili's, used to have a, a good queso. Uh, the Iguana Cantino had a great queso, but they all closed around us. They're not, they're not doing their best to keep uh, the customers coming back, and they just closed down. I think the only Chili's left now around me is in Burlington. The other two closed. So... I did cut too, way too much cheese. Oh well. Who doesn't like cheese? In fact, I'll have a piece now. Or two. Three. Sorry. It's good. I'm gonna check on that bacon in a minute. Alright. Yeah, way too much cheese, so there's no reason why I can't steal a few more pieces to eat. Yeah, let's check out that bacon. See the edges are burning. I think I'm gonna to start to do the bacon a little bit. Oh, did I miss some messages? Hey, Jack, sorry. Who there? <laughs> yes, Bobby Boucher. Yeah, who am I kidding, Dan? That wouldn't have been enough for the dip. I would have went out and bought another big uh when I when I do the dip, you only need uh was it 16 ounces but it's cheaper to buy the bigger eight uh 32 ounce uh thing of Velveeta so that's what I do you know it, it, it's weird what they do that you know it's like buy you know 16 ounces for four dollars or 32 ounces for six dollars you know it's like come on you know they get you because of all that extra packaging and yada 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 or some other reason who knows Come on. There we go. There we go. Now we got a place to put some of this on. So it doesn't interfere. Yeah, that'll, that'll work there. Uh, okay, there we go. Sometimes I gotta look to make sure I have the camera pointing in the right place. Waffle make is still cooling down. The fry cube thingies have been in there for five minutes and 20 seconds. Those look good. I am not gonna stir this with that knife. I always do that. I always do that with the uh, metal tongs and that's how I ruin the surface. I, I, I always take care of this stuff really good in the beginning. And after I just like, yeah, whatever, you know? And that's how I end up ruining my stuff. I've been abusing my, uh, the, uh, Gotham pan I have there. I wash them, I always wash the bottom pan by hand, and that thing is smooth as silk. And it cleans off super easy. But that wire grate is the biggest pain in the butt to clean. So I'll start to get the chunks off, and then I'll just throw it in the dishwasher, and it's hitting things and slamming against it. So I've chipped the rim and stuff like that, that the coatings come off. It's one of those things I I can't have nice things. <laughs> Unless it cleans well. Like I said, those pans clean great. 
It's just those wire mesh grills, anything. Even on the Baconator tray they sell, trying to get that clean, what a pain. This is a little too tall. I want to make myself look taller today, so I'm rolling the camera. I feel like I'm forgetting something for my breakfast sandwich so that's not going to be done the way I need it. I got the bacon, got the sausage, got the cheese. I do not have the green peppers, so like I said, if anybody's upset about the green peppers. Uh, I, uh, where did I go? Did I talk about this? I went on Thursday night. I don't remember if I've done a live since Thursday night. Went to an Ashleydale house with a friend of mine. Yes, I did, because I remember going on about this. I got a steak and cheese sub. It's got real shaved steak, but uh, it was terrible. Disappointed. And I made, you know, I told them, yeah, it was all right. Yeah, it was good. You know, I don't want them spitting in my beer if they give me a beer or something. So, oh well. Uh, okay, sausages, bacon, potatoes. Hmm, what else did I put in there? Too bad I didn't roast up some meatballs too, all right? Because what else would you put in there? Ham, sausage, bacon, I don't have any ham. Um, I was saying earlier, I know I tried to do the meatloaf last night. However, I was short a few ingredients. I had to confide with Mama Monty about a few things. There's some stuff she says, you could put it in if you like it, kind of thing. And I put in this much, you know, in there. So. I had to do my interpretation, so um, she was like, well, why don't you do it first, and then you can do a video later. I said, you know what, I want people to see, if I make a mistake, I want, you know, people to say, okay, Mario, do that, don't do that, you know. Um, I think it's important, you know, you see all these cooking shows or whatever, and edited videos too. Oh, I do a triple, quadruple take on something, you don't see me screwing something up, it's because I can retake. It's just not, you know, it may help you say, you know, throw that reminder in your head that yes, we're all human, yes, we make mistakes. Mr. Kraska, I haven't seen you around for a couple of days. I was going to ask you something. Um, yeah, I tried to reply to that uh, text, not text, that message you sent me, and then you sent me a follow up on it, and every time I try to reply to it, it bounces back and says you're not there, and I would at least not have let you send it. So send it, excuse me, sorry. But I appreciate, I was going to say thank you. You not only sent me the link, but you sent me the PDF. I had one of them. I saw the pocket reference book after you sent me the PDF. I said, I had one of these. I, probably downstairs in my box of electronics from when I was younger, you know. But thank you. Hey, Kirby. Doing a breakfast bowl today. I made my, uh, I got my tortillas. These are smaller ones, but I cooked them in the uh, Presto Belgian bowl waffle. And then the hard, you know, they warm up, harden up, so they're a bowl, an edible bowl. I wish that would do the bigger tortillas, but uh, it doesn't. I guess I could use the bigger ones and then trim them out a little bit, so they're kind of like a bowl with a lip. But Oh my god, Dan. Holy, someone's paying attention. <laughs> I was like, I know I'm missing something, I just don't know what. <laughs> Uh, and you know what, I probably would have ate the whole thing and still trying to scratch my head saying, what the hell did I miss? <laughs> oh boy, oh you know what, I'm not going to dirty a bowl because I'm running late with this already, so I'm just going to heat this thing up nice. Turn down the temperature for the bacon. I scorched the heat up way high for this. This pan will take a little bit to heat up. It's a thicker one. What's that thing about the egg? If you could spin it, it's uh, not uh, hard boiled. So I guess that's true. Uh, everyone, I 
think I might have mentioned this at one other time, but uh, Kirby's Fish and Grill. If you click the three dots next to his name, you'll see Go to Channel. Right click, Go to Channel, and say Open a New Tab. If you're on a browser and subscribe, watch his channel. He does a uh, live on Saturday mornings with the Schmorgesborg of good stuff. So check him out too. Uh, I'm gonna set the timer down for the bake into a few minutes because I'm not sure when that's gonna be done. That's yeah, getting pretty hot now. I'm gonna turn the heat way down. Last time I forgot to spray this with Pam too. Do that. That's why you should never. Kirby says, "Oh, you gotta prepare." <laughs> and I'm like, "I don't want to do that." Of course, what, what's the first thing I do? I forget to do something, right? Hopefully I have one of these. I'm gonna break this up. And I read that as soon as the corners get white, you pull them in when they get cooked, I should say. You pull them in. And some people add other stuff. I've never eaten scrambled eggs, but I figured this is kind of what we gotta do. While that's coming out, let me take a look at this. Mix this up. Again, I gotta stop using the metal tongs. I grabbed the wooden spoon out because I'm damaging my air fryer. It's never gonna last the way I treat it. Although it's withstood just, it's almost been a year since I've had that. And one egg is enough. Turn off the heat. Don't need that anymore. Uh, I apologize. It's saying to rotate the vise. I gotta figure out a new way to hang this camera because if I tilt this thing too far, it ends up uh, rotating on me. I don't know what it looks like on your side, but yeah, that 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 um, uh, thing with the. Uh, the, I'm not a big uh, like uh, strawberry fan, but the uh, bread you cut into the chunks. I saw the bread. I'm like, oh, that's like the Texas toast that you know that big thick Texas toast at Dunkin' Donuts up here. I don't know what you have over there, but so that's enough one egg. The air fryer has opened up my mind to trying different things. Like I would have never tried peppers and onions before and I do that and watching Kirby's channel I have a see if I can do this while causing trouble I have this microphone stand that I bought and it's got a 3 8 inch you don't put on the microphone clip here and I put this ball head that has a removable so it's except 3 8 and just this uh uh Ulanzi adapter I returned the other one because it was top heavy because it extended up and uh, this one you must tighten with the thumb screw. And while that's probably not a problem most days, um, my phone has a squeeze sensor. So you squeeze it, it, uh, it that goes off on its own. Let me take a quick look at this bacon. Uh, I don't know what you use. I've used this, it worked great for webcams because webcams are super light. But um, I've actually used this exact setup. I put my Canon EOS M mirrorless on it, and then on top of the EOS M in the, in the hot shoe, I put my GoPro, my, my uh, cheap GoPro version, on top of that. And it holds the weight great, but it's failing because the screw keeps loose. So I went out and I bought a new bolt and a wing nut so I could tighten it up as I go because there's two versions of this. They now have a version where you can, uh, uh, has a, those plastic wing nuts. And I couldn't find any of those, so I just got a regular wing nut for now. Um, maybe I'll do a video on that. Of course, I need to get paper towels. The bacon, normally I would cook it more. However, um, I need to cut it up. And when I cut it up, it's, if it's too crispy, it's just going to break and break up too much. So, well, let me uh, check those potatoes again quick. Those are good. going good. And uh, this is actually good timing because the girls will probably be home soon enough. And this is a, 
Oh, sorry. This is um, maple bacon. BJ's had it, and I figured I'd try it out. Um, you could smell it. I couldn't taste the difference, really. I may throw this bacon in after, depending on what I use. So. so, you know what? I'll leave the sausages in there and cut up the bacon I need. Work with the space you have. I don't have much of it. But don't tell Don I admitted that. I mean, usually I'm the only one in here because I'm the one that's cooking, but... Hey, Carol, I am, uh... I call it not another breakfast bowl. I'm using our tortillas. I put them in the Belgian waffle maker, and they toast up and they harden once they're toasted. And I'm using that as the bowl. So, made enough for two bowls, but whether or not I have two bowls or just have one bowl and some bacon or whatever. And the reason why is last week I used a regular like cereal bowl to make it in, not last week or the week before, whenever that was. And the problem I ran into was uh, where was I going to, it's really not an oven safe bowl. So, um, you know one of those things. So let me grab one of those breakfast bowls. Here we are. Oh, that pan is hot, and it's hot because this burner's still hot, and it didn't occur to me. And that's what happens when you don't pay attention, folks. So we are going to put some egg in each. Hopefully you can see that. We are going to get. All right, bear with me where I find it. <laughs> One second. Sorry, guys. I, I need to take a picture every step of the way here. If I don't, I'm going to regret it. Kirby does a, a good job when he does his uh, little layout there. i got to take a few hints from him. But I don't. I have a really nice camera, but I'm, I hate taking that thing out. I have it in the closet because um, when Natalia was younger, she wanted to get her hands on everything. So I grew into the habit. Instead of having it on the table there ready for me to use, I was... Uh, putting it away so it wouldn't get damaged. Now I don't use it and kind of miss it. One piece of bacon for each. That's it, huh? Well, that's not good. That piece was a little less cooked at the end, so. All right, there we go. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. And I am going to take another picture. All right, see those potatoes. All oh, those potatoes look awesome. Um, so sausages next. I tell you, these food shares are awesome. I had them for like 12, 13, 14 years before I realized that, you know, to treat them as food shares. I saw someone using them to like cut pizza or something. I was like, oh, you know what? I never thought of that. I saw them as scissors and I only used them to open food packages and stuff like that. Just the thought never occurred to me to use it to, to do that. Okay. I was going to put in more, but I still got the potatoes, and I want potatoes on there. So, next step. More pictures. I can hear my printer going in the background. If you guys haven't seen and you like my alternative video stuff, I uh, took someone's design for a full month for my car, my truck. <laughs> And I used it to, um, and modified it heavily. I did a printout this morning. It wasn't going to work out, so I did some more modifications. Um, check it out if you got the time, if you got interest for that kind of thing. Okay. I'm going to move this pin over. And 
let's take a look at those awesome potatoes. Very exciting. <laughs> Now, the potatoes are going to be hot, but I don't know what I have for a scoop. So, I'm just going to uh, scoop them with my hands, and yes, they are hot as, hotter than hell. Hot, hot, hot. Maybe you can see that a little better now. What do you think? A little couple more potatoes here and there. A squeal and I realized again it's my printer and these little potatoes are awesome and full of flavor so awesome all right I'm trying to go wash my hands quick sorry I've been neglecting uh try uh, uh for my morning streams I use the Logitech 922 they are fairly light I haven't eaten breakfast. That's making me hungry. Hey, Maria, Carol. Sorry, Carol. I uh, lost track when I was running around. Um, Donna and uh, the wee one, they will be back shortly. Uh, I recommend a cutting board for pictures. Yeah, uh, I, I agree with you because the stripes, while they're good for some pictures, I want a big cutting board so that you don't see these edges and stuff. You know what I mean? I agree with you there. My pictures look way different on a cutting board. Some cheese and salsa is all you need left in that bowl. You know what? I didn't even think of salsa. I think I'll do one with and one without. Because uh, salsa is one of those unknowns. Oh, the cheese is uh, melty because it's uh, over by the two the two ovens there. The Breville and the uh, go -wise. It's catching the heat on the back end. Now these I have to reheat in the air fryer. Do you um, put the salsa on after you cook it, Kirby, I assume? You know, you don't heat up the salsa. You have it uh, cold when you do something like this. And again, I apologize. I missed some comments there. I just, uh, I kind of forget. <laughs> yeah, top it after. I forget as much. I do the same thing with the nachos, but I know some places do things differently. You know. Okay. That's good. Now I actually got to get these potatoes out of here because I need the bowl. And see, this thing is uh, loosening up again. That's why I bought those wing nuts. So let's get these in here. See, one potato would have been more than enough. But these things are awesome. few more pictures. Yeah, I'd like to get a nice, I actually have a big serving tray that looks like these. I wonder if that would be good. Here, see, I'm going to grab some and, and eat them. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Now, I am going to lift these and put them in here. And I'm going to heat these up a little bit. Get that cheese nice and melted. I could do this in the Breville, but uh, that's cooled down by now. So, and I'm going to be careful popping that in because I don't want um, anything to fly around. Extra cheese. Yay me. Yeah, I agree. Put some cheese and put some bacon on the leftover taters. Yeah, don't worry. The, the bacon is not going to waste in this house. I assure you. <laughs> Donna doesn't like eggs. She's tried it a few different ways. Like someone said, have it with salsa. You like it. Yada, yada, yada. And she just doesn't like it. But I think, you know, if she was to have it with this breakfast bowl, with all these flavors in there, because she likes everything, it's just she doesn't like the eggs. It's not that. I think it's because she just doesn't like the way they look. If, if that didn't bother her, she'd eat it. So, question is, 
Smith is, what are you guys got going for this week? I uh, took out of the freezer, I took out a couple of steaks, the round eyes, I took out uh, some wings, and I took out uh, those thin pork chops that I like, those quick, you know, they kick, take like six minutes to cook. Um, and uh, I also have some ground beef defrosting, like defrosted now, and uh, that's what I hope to do. If I could just get to the market later today, I would pick up some of that and try to make it up. I hear them coming in the house now. Uh, make it never good. Yeah. Uh, I've been watched two seasons of Better Call so Stop and Shop sale on Porter Houses, $4.99 about the Porter House, huh? Maybe. I have a smoked pork in there. I'd like to do some more grill in it, but smoke, but it's so just this is so convenient, you know. I'm gonna do making that jalapeno poppers today. There you go. Ooh. There we go. Now, now there we go. There we go. I actually could have probably put a little more cheese on that, but let me get this in there. Okay. Now normally I would pick my that up with my hand, but I can assure you that is. I would get burnt if I do that, but I'm just stupid enough to try it. Hot, 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 hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, 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 hot. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> it's like when, the, when you say, doctor, doctor, it hurts when I do that. Well, don't do that. All right, let me get some of the uh, little artifacts off the plate here. Oh, sorry, phone camera's not lined up. There we go. And they're tilted forward, actually, so that's kind of nice. Gives it a nice little look to it. So let me take my camera. This terrible camera, I will say. I cannot get this to turn up the uh, exposure. It just refuses to do it. And, Kirby, just because you asked for it, I got some uh, Tostitos, medium. Yeah, no, I don't. It's like, you know, when you have uh, uh, like carpenters and stuff like that. They, they never get splinters, you know what I mean? Their hands are so rough. Which one looks better? This one looks better. So I'll do that one first. Throw a little bit on there. the worst that can happen. I brush it off a little bit. You like salsa, Don, right? Breakfast bowls, everything you, you like is in there. I didn't have any green peppers, I was telling them, so. Maybe slide one off and just take a picture of the one. Freeze frame. Oh, now we're getting bright. It's this camera is just really temperamental. You want to try one of these? No. Okay. I show you again my first. Um, did you tell me? Oh no, I'm thinking of um, uh, uh, Crystal did. Oh, who who'd you get? That's awesome. I'm trying to think if you told me or if I just overheard you say something. Hey, Carol, thank you for joining us as always. I appreciate it. I'd love for someone to say, hey, Mario, we're going to sponsor you for a big air fryer. <laughs> yeah. Go wise, someone. If they said, yep, you got to drop the go wise, and I'll be like, all right, if you're going to give me, be a sponsor. People have teased me with sponsorship. They're like, yeah, all you have to do is uh, stop uh, advertising for. Or stop doing something. I'll take all my affiliate links off for gear for Banggood and put gear best. But it's like, but I didn't buy anything from you. Um, I am gonna put one in a bowl because I know it's gonna flop all over the place. <clears throat> I'm sorry, a little delay getting this ready for you. All right. 
not familiar with that, but I'm going to have to check it out. Because if they're sponsoring you, I want to make sure if something I need that they have, that I sponsor them back. That's how it, that's how it works, you know? Okay. Ta da Oh. There we go. Got everything on this loop. Everyone, I wish you could taste this. I mentioned this once before with these uh, taco bowls with the tortillas. I use them for taco bowl, and then after that, it softens up, and I use it as a taco shell. It's kind of hard to eat it. The bowl almost goes to waste, for lack of a better word. That's some good stuff. Mm, sorry, wait a minute. Here we got is the bacon, the egg, the sausage, uh, cheese, and there is the oh, the um, uh, oh, uh, the salsa. Sorry. <laughs> egg. It's great, especially if you're grilling, right? You always handling that? <clears throat> I tell you, this right here, one is enough. I'd be perfect now. Granted, this is only one piece of bacon and one sausage and a half an egg. But, ooh, very filling. See, like right now? Oops. See, like right now? Fucking taco shell. Mm -hmm. I dropped something. It's good, Kirby. Good call on the uh, salsa. That's a little spin. A reminder, guys. Um, the contest for the mini. Crock pot and the dash cam are coming up, so make sure you go back. Sorry, and check out that video. And uh, if you want to try to win, say it. I also, um, for some reason, Mario's domain at Gmail. I don't know what happened. It's not mine anymore. So, do not try to email Mario's domain on Gmail because it's not me. When the contest arrives. Uh, Facebook, uh, not Facebook, Gmail is disabling, uh, sorry, YouTube is disabling direct contact to the about, to contact people directly, so it's going to be, I'm going to have to do like an authentication process back and forth with you guys, um, and I'll have to figure out to make sure that I'm talking, you know, just so someone doesn't create another Jack Payne or Kirby or Carol or something, you know, and, uh, you know, get your prize kind of thing. And this is crispy. Who wants to see me eat that other bowl? <laughs> I only used two pieces of bacon, but I made eight. So Kirby, uh, when's your uh, first shipment arriving? Or the first uh, product review or whatever. Hey everyone, I only see two likes and there's like 12 of us here. <laughs> well, I said that yet yeah, was it yesterday, the day before I said that, day before. Someone whacked me with the thumbs down right after I said it. Or around when I said it, not exactly right after. I had one of the place, supposedly a news company, want to see my digital decorations. And I tracked it down, reverse tracked who they really were. 
and they weren't being completely honest. So I told them, don't ever call me again. Um, so it's good they're shipping you something and you'll know it's going to be legit. There's some chistas out there. But, you know those potatoes again? Yeah. These are so good. I'm trying to think what I can put these on. Other than a breakfast bowl. When I was a kid, I used to put uh, french fries on top of my burger. So, I would need like a sticking agent, but maybe um, melt some cheddar or something on a burger. Throw some of those potatoes on top. Bacon, obviously. And uh, I was talking to uh, Jack. He, uh, not talking to him, but he did something I'm going to try to do. The KFC Double Down, his version. So I think I'm going to do that as well. <laughs> it was you, wasn't it, Dan? <clears throat> no, I try to get a gauge to see... Um, if the lives are working out as well as I think they are. My viewership is down 25% since I started doing the lives. I love doing the lives, don't get me wrong. But I don't want to start losing subscribers either. Um, so I got a bunch of videos I gotta work on and post that are really old now. I don't even know if they're worth posting. This one's cooling down, so it's getting harder to scoop out the cheeses, like, keeping me from taking my food. You're not sure yet, huh, man? Look at that. You got your bacon, your sausage, your cheese, your egg, your salsa. What else? There's the potatoes. Now, I tell you, you know, when I have a bacon, egg, and cheese or something, there's three slices of bacon, one egg, a slice of cheese, and the bagel. Mm. This thing was technically for both of them two slices of bacon, two sausage, one egg. And, uh, man, I'm full. But, now, I have my, since it's softened up, I now have my, this is no longer, not another breakfast full bowl, but a taco breakfast. Look at that. It is now 11 o'clock. I get a late stop. I tell you, good eating. Anyways, a reminder again, contest. Go check out the link. It's now three weeks ago, maybe. Um, I'll probably be doing the drawing later next week, mid next week, something like that. So, the only thing I'm worried about is A, people spoofing accounts, or B, the two people who won both want the same thing. That's something I'm going to have to figure out. Well, I started this at I started this at uh, ten o'clock, but I started getting everything together before then. Um, you know, try to be semi prepared. <clears throat> so.
also a reminder, if anyone just joined, please go check out Kirby's channel. Uh, he's got his first sponsor, and that's awesome. He does a Saturday morning live. Go check that out. Make sure you hit the uh, bell so you see when he's putting out his lives, or videos for that matter. Contest, again, go check out your contest. I did put a video out last night about the 3D printer, something I was working on. Check it out if you want. It's pretty short. It's like four minutes or five or six minutes. I don't know. Oh, it is unplugged in. I don't even remember saying it, but apparently I did. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> in closing, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I am watching you. Uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I always appreciate the support. And please come in with those suggestions. I love it. Just a simple thing with the salsa. I think it was a great addition. Uh, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm putting out a new video or going live. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Take care and we'll see ya. Make sure. So again, thank you, Dan, Kirby, Gerard, uh, Mr. Kresker, Carol, Jack. Uh, uh, I know there's one other person, Michaela. I don't know if you're still there. I haven't. You haven't po put up a comment in a little bit. And later. Have a great day, folks. Thank you once again. See you, Dan.